Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle abbreviated as GSLV, is an expendable launch system operated by the Indian Space Research Organization GSLV has been used in 13 launches to date, since its first launch in 2001 to the most recent on December 19, 2018 carrying the GSAT-7A military communication satellite. Even though Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle Mark III shares the name it is an entirely different launcher. History The Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle GSLV, project was initiated in 1990 with the objective of acquiring an Indian launch capability for geosynchronous satellites. GSLV uses major components that are already proven in the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle PSLV launchers in the form of the S-125, S-139 solid rocket booster and the liquid-fueled Vikas engine. Due to the thrust required for injecting the satellite in a GTO orbit the third stage was to be powered by a LOX, LH2 cryogenic engine which at that time India did not possess or had the technology know how to build one. The first development flight of the GSLV MK I configuration was launched on the 18th of April 2001 was a failure as the payload failed to reach the intended orbit parameters. The launcher was declared operational after the second development flight successfully launched the GSAT2 satellite. During the initial years from the initial launch to 2014 the launcher had a checkered history with only two successful launches out of seven. Topic: <coughs> Cryogenic engine controversy. The third stage was to be procured from Russian company Glavcosmos, including transfer of technology and design details of the engine based on an agreement signed in 1991. Russia backed out of the deal after U.S. objected to the deal as in violation of the Missile Technology Control Regime May 1992. As a result, ISRO initiated the cryogenic upper stage project in April 1994 and began developing its own cryogenic engine. A new agreement was signed with Russia for seven KVD-1 cryogenic stages and one ground mock-up stage with no technology transfer, instead of five cryogenic stages along with the technology and design as per the earlier agreement. These engines were used for the initial flights and were named GSLV MK.1. Topic: Vehicle description. The 49 meters, 161 feet tall GSLV with a lift off mass of 415 metric tons, 915,000 pounds, is a three-stage vehicle with solid, liquid and cryogenic stages respectively. The payload fairing, which is 7.8 meters, 26 feet long and 3.4 meters, 11 feet in diameter, protects the vehicle electronics and the spacecraft during its ascent through the atmosphere. It is discarded when the vehicle reaches an altitude of about 115 kilometers. GSLV employs S-band telemetry and C-band transponders for enabling vehicle performance monitoring, tracking, range safety, flight safety and preliminary orbit determination. The redundant strap-down inertial navigation system, inertial guidance system of GSLV housed in its equipment bay guides the vehicle from lift-off to spacecraft injection. The digital autopilot and closed-loop guidance scheme ensure the required altitude maneuver and guide injection of the spacecraft to the specified orbit. 
The GSLV can place approximately 5,000 kg into an easterly low Earth orbit or 2,500 kg 5, for the Mk. 2 version into an 18 degrees geostationary transfer orbit. Topic liquid boosters The first GSLV flight, GSLV D1 used the L-40 engine. Subsequent flights of the GSLV used high-pressure engines in the strap-on boosters called the L-40H. The GSLV uses four L-40H liquid strap-on boosters derived from the L-37.5 second stage, which are loaded with 42.6 tons of hypergolic propellants UDMH and N204. The propellants are stored in tandem in two independent tanks 2.1 meters 6 feet 11 in diameter. The engine is pump-fed and generates 760 kilonewtons lbf of thrust, with a burn time of 150 seconds. <laughs> First stage GSLV D1 used the S125 stage which contained 125 metric tons, 276,000 pounds of solid propellant and had a burn time of 100 seconds. All subsequent launches have used enhanced propellant loaded S139 stage. The S-139 stage is 2.8 meters in diameter and has a nominal burn time of 109 seconds. The stage generates a maximum thrust of 4,700 kilonewtons. Topic: <laughs> Second stage. The GS-2 stage is powered by the Vikas engine. It has a diameter of 2.8 meters, 9 feet 2 in. Topic: <laughs> Third stage. The third stage of the GSLV Mk-2 is propelled by the Indian CE 7.5 cryogenic rocket engine while the older defunct Mk-I is propelled using a Russian-made KVD-1. It uses liquid hydrogen LH2 and liquid oxygen LOX. The Indian cryogenic engine was built at the Liquid Propulsion Systems Center. The engine has a default thrust of 75 kilonewtons, 17,000 lbf, but is capable of a maximum thrust of 93.1 kilonewtons, 20,900 lbf. Topic Variants GSLV rockets using the Russian cryogenic stage CS are designated as the GSLV MKI while versions using the indigenous cryogenic upper stage CUS are designated the GSLV MK2 all GSLV launches have been conducted from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sriharikota Topic GSLV MKI. The first developmental flight of GSLV MKI had a 129-ton S-125 first stage and was capable of launching around 1,500 kilograms into geostationary transfer orbit. The second developmental flight replaced the S-125 stage with S-139. It used the same solid motor with 138-ton propellant loading. The chamber pressure in all liquid engines were enhanced, enabling a higher propellant mass and burn time. These improvements allowed GSLV to carry an additional 300 kg of payload. 
The fourth operational flight of GSLV MKI, GSLV F06, has a 15 ton propellant loading in the third stage, called the C 15. GSLV MK2 This variant uses an Indian cryogenic engine, the CE 7.5, and is capable of launching 2,500 kg into geostationary transfer orbit. Previous GSLV vehicles GSLV -MK -I have used Russian cryogenic engines, for launches from 2018 a 6% increased thrust version of the Vikas engine was developed. It was demonstrated on 29 March 2018 in the GSAT-6A launch second stage. It will be used for the four Vikas engines first stage boosters on future missions. Topic. Launch statistics Topic. Launch history Topic. Planned launches Topic. See also Comparison of orbital launchers families Comparison of orbital launch systems Gaganyaan, India's crewed orbiter Geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle MK3 LVM3 PSLV, 